as a nine-year-old, I didn't think that what I was doing was songwriting. Like I was just, oh, there's a melody and there's lyrics and I just put them together. Like I didn't think of it as a thing that people do or thing that people go to school for or thing that people can get paid for. Like never in a million The carousel won't stop turning So we go round and round and round In a while we stop caring where I invited oh, Petra to have a chat with me because she sent me one of her songs, it's called Ours. Oh, yes. And I fell in love with it the first time I listened to it. So I thought, I have to, I have to talk to her. Cause every second starts a year, they fly by us, we fall behind. We're all just waiting for the pendulum but to die. We're running with time, chasing the hours, where's the Watching it fly as we hold on to the night But the glass is turning and our hearts are burning Like the golden horizon Running with time, chasing the hours oh, oh, oh. That was actually the, the first song that I played to family and friends and Kind of like as a test Kind of like, so is this anything? And obviously they were really supportive and everything, which was lovely, so... So you passed the test. I passed the test. And that song very much kind of started it all for me, which is why I wanted it to be the first single and the first on the, on the album. Hey, this is Louise from Office Stage Tunes, and I am here with a new friend, Petra. Hi. <laughs> so nice to meet you. Thank you, you too. That was easy. Can you give me like a condensed version of who you are, please? In a nutshell. <laughs> I, my name is Petra, which you know. I go by the artist name Petra Chesmina, which is my first and second name, because my last name is Impossible. Uh, I'm from Finland, so that, that makes it impossible. I started writing songs when I was, I think, nine. Um, I started writing them in English for some peculiar reason because I didn't speak English at the time, so don't know what happened there. It sounds like you're a multi-instrumentalist, right? You play. Well, <laughs> I actually, I, I don't really like to use the word instrumentalist at all because I feel like playing is not what I'm strongest at. I've played piano since I was like three, but I never really had the patience for it, honestly. But voice is your main instrument. I would say so, yeah. yeah. And, and songwriting. I, I, I've really only recently started seeing it as a, as a craft, like as something that you can actually, like as a skill, because you know, I started so young. So as a nine-year-old, I didn't think that what I was doing was songwriting. Like I was just, oh, there's a melody and there's lyrics and I just put them together. Like I didn't think of it as a thing that people do or think that people go to school for, or think that people can get paid for. Like, never in a million years would I have thought that that's what I was doing. Um, but now it, it has become clear to me that that's what I do. <laughs> Being a musician, a career musician, is not the easiest profession. Certainly not, right? no. How has that been for you? Well, I am really lucky in the sense that I, uh, I actually have a day job. So when do you find time for your creativity in music? Honestly, I'm one of those people who writes on like just in the weirdest places like I very often I get an inspiration at work and I would like run to the bathroom and like <laughs> sing something to my phone um, or like on the subway or you know just in the just like kind of in motion. So what are your plans for 2020? Do you have any hopes of where you want to be? Well I've always been someone who dreams like ridiculously big <laughs> so obviously it would be amazing to one day in the future to be able to just leave off music and not have to do anything else. Um, I hope, well actually I don't hope, I am going to uh, start work on, on a full length album, book more gigs and collaborations. I'm, I have this thing now where I'm really into collaborating and I want to play with everyone and sing with everyone. Co-workers find you, like, where's Petra? She's in the bathroom singing. I don't think they know. After this, they might. <laughs> but. Well, good luck with everything. Thank you. And maybe we'll see you at Rockwood. Oh, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you so much.